Hello, my name is Serena and welcome on my YouTube channel Language Lessons. Today we are discussing the topic of text-to-speech technologies for Slovenian language. Very often it happens if you study Slovene and you want to read out correctly a Slovenian word or a phrase, you have doubts because stress in Slovenian is not stable, it can jump, and you do not know, you don't have a clue how to read it out correctly, pronounce it correctly. So, what are possibilities? What can help you? We're going to see possible solutions and present our final comparison result. If you are interested in this topic, continue watching this video and be sure to subscribe to the channel to have more Slovene language tutorials. And we start right now. So in case you have short phrase in Slovenian, uh, you can uh, be happy because it exists one very good online tool to help you with short phrases or some uh, words. Let us visit this page. The page is called Ebralets. Yeah, so this is uh, an online version. You can have or copy paste from outside or you can just insert your own text or phrase. Slovenia, yeah. Now, I want to know how this text is pronounced. Let us try. Slovenia je majhna simpatična država na sončni strani Alp. Okay, maybe it's too fast for me. I want to speed it down. Here you can choose another speed and try again. Slovenia je majhna simpatična država na sončni strani Alp. Okay, now it's good for speed, but maybe I don't like the voice. I can change the voice and read again. Slovenia je majhna simpatična država na sončni strani Alp. Okay, maybe not too slow and I want to try a man's voice. Slovenia je majhna simpatična država na sončni strani Alp. Okay, so as you see, you can play with the readers to have uh, men or women's voices. You can play with the speed, you can speed it down or speed up the pronunciation. But there is, of course, one limitation, which is normal for these free online versions, test versions of any programs you have only limited number of characters so your text cannot be very long yeah good so what are the possibilities if you have long phrases or long paragraphs of text in slovenian and you want to read it all and not word by word or sentence by sentence hmm. what to do there in this case there is also alternative solution you can use if you are um, the happy owner of Adobe Acrobat. Um, well, I bought my uh, Adobe Acrobat as a part, as an integrated part of Microsoft Word, um, of Microsoft uh, Windows 10 in Slovenia. I hope this uh, the very possibility exists also for you. So you have your long text in Word, for instance. Uh, you can save it as PDF document. So in Adobe Acrobat format. Yeah. And, and if you have it in this Adobe Acrobat format, I think it's here. Here, yeah, you see here one excellent possibility, preberi na glas, yeah, right in the middle here, yeah, preberi na glas, 
now I will show it up. This one, preberena glas. And if you want this to happen. Hočem govoriti slovensko pravilno. Rad bi predstavili izpit na drugi datum. Rada bi opravičila moja odsotnost na prejšnjem predavanju. Ok, so as you see, uh, you have already integrated function text to speech, reading out in Slovenian, integrated in this Adobe Acrobat. So you can use it as for short phrases, as well as for long paragraphs. So let us see uh, uh, what happens when we want to read the text. Predavanju. Slovenska prestolnica Ljubljana je v samem središču Slovenije, šteje 250 tisoč prebivalcev. Visoko nad Ljubljano se dviguje Ljubljanski grad. Ok, so as you see, you can jump, uh, uh, change the paragraphs to the phrases, but here, unfortunately, we cannot see no possibilities of choosing uh, of human voices, so there is only one integrated version. And there is unfortunately no possibility to speed up or to speed down the reading. Yeah, it's integrated and it's free. Okay, so if you want to sum it up, uh, let us see the following slide. So, uh, solution number one, you can use this online tool, Embralets. Uh, the link to this tool I will leave under the video. What is good in this online tool? You have different speed of, of pronunciation, you have different voices to choose, you like more or less. And what is not so good? It has some time characters limitations and it has some time limitations. So for instance, if you are using the same online tools more times during the same day, it will happen that you will be you will have to wait uh, uh, every time because the program indicates the IP your IP address and wants you to buy the program. Yeah, so it's not so. It has some limitations. It's not ideal solution, but still something. Solution number two. You can buy a software package, uh, which is called Abralits for individual use. Uh, what is good? You still have different voices and different speed possibilities. What is not so good, you have to pay for this. Uh, at the moment, I have checked it out. In this current year, 2021, the price for individual use, home use of this package is 100 uh, 18 and something euro per year. It's an uh, annual fee. And solution number three, uh, if you have Slovin package of Adobe Acrobat, you can use uh, one integrated function using PDF formats of Word documents um, uh, to read out and to listen this in Slovenia. What is good, it is free. What is not so good, it, it's only one voice integrated and it's only one speech, yeah, which is maybe not so convenient for foreigners who do not speak Slovene very well. So uh, I hope uh, this content can help you uh, learning Slovene language. So if you like this video, please don't forget to put the likes. Uh, if you are interested in more Slovene language tutorials, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye bye.